The government's top economic priority is to upgrade its electricity generating capacity and transport network. But many of these projects have been marred by scandals. Last year, the World Bank suspended a multi-billion infrastructure project after it found evidence of a number of contractual breaches, including sexual harassment of female workers by the contractor. The Minister for Works and Transport, John Biabagambi, says the government is in final talks with World Bank officials to lift the suspension. I'm seeing negotiations are moving on very well because we addressed most of the issues that uh, the World Bank uh, was concerned with. The World Bank Group President, Jim Yong Kim, signed a statement in December last year stating the reasons for cancelling the $265 million US dollar fund meant to construct the Fort Porto Kamwenge Highway. This followed a report released by campaigners from an NGO called Joy for Children Uganda that documented repeated cases of contractors sexually abusing children in the area of the road project. The report indicated that nine school-age girls became pregnant. The bank later withdrew funds from the 100-kilometer Chenjo Jokaboya Road and the Tororombari Soroti Lila Kamdin Road. The projects were to cost between 490 and 820 billion shillings respectively. The minister says Uganda has addressed all concerns, including establishing a department within the Uganda National Roads Authority to directly address the social and environmental concerns. Now they are dealing with them directly, not as before when they, they used again to depend on the consultants, because they used to contract a consultant to go and do those, uh, uh, those works. Gambi also refuted media reports that suggested that there is a misunderstanding between him and the UNRWA executive director, Alan Kajina, over the construction of a nine-kilometer road from Bosega to Chivuye. Anything to do with procurement or what, that's UNRWA. It has got nothing to do with me. And that's what I communicated. And in my letter, there's no way where I put it, where I said, you give the road, this is the price. No, I can't do that. The minister also weighed in on the progress made in the construction of the standard gauge railway from Malaba to Kampala. We are acquiring land because this is a greenfield project. It's not following the old alignment because it's a high-speed train. And as I talk of today, we have already acquired more than 50 kilometers of land. Government is likely not to meet its earlier target of having the standard gauge railway section from Malaba to Kampala complete by 2017. But all hope is not lost as the compensation process of people whose land is going to be taken has already started. The construction is expected to start in October this year. Habad Ziwa, NTV Weekend Edition.